Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Wouldn't you like to be sitting on a beach in the warm weather enjoying a hypnotic breeze? I know I would, especially because it just started snowing here. However, I like warm weather, I like the beach, you just can't go wrong. Now this cocktail came about because I was asked to make something with hypnotic. And it's not a, a liqueur I usually use very often, but you know what? I think this is right up everyone's alley. Simple, easy to make, and perfect for whether you're at home or on a beach. So let's get into it. Now, this is a shaking cocktail, but as per usual, we are going to start with our cheapest ingredients first. So what you wanna do is grab a lime, and what we're going to do is cut it in half, and we're gonna cut another slice just for your garnish. After that, we're gonna use 15 milliliters or half an ounce. All right, now, the next thing we're going to use is a simple syrup. This is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar, and we're going to use another 15 milliliters or half an ounce. All right, perfect. Now the next thing that you're going to use is a pineapple juice or a pineapple juice combination of juice. So in this case, I'm using a pineapple mango juice. Really nice, really simple, easy to work with. And you know what? This is no sugar added, no pulp either. And we're gonna use, again, 15 milliliters or half an ounce. All right, this is looking good. We have a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor. So make sure you put the lid back on that. So grab your white rum of choice. In this case, I'm using lamb's white rum. And for this, we're going to use one ounce or 30 milliliters. All right, looking good. So the next thing we need is our hypnotic. Now I'm using the blue hypnotic. Again, this is a berry flavored. You could, uh, oh, that was nice. Um, you could choose a different hypnotic if you want, but it is going to change the flavors and you have to make sure that the flavors work together. So if you're going to do that, adjust the, the juices and the levels until you get what you want. Now for this, we're going to use two and a half ounces or 75 milliliters. Yeah, look at that color. A nice, gentle aquamarine, blue-green. You can't go wrong. Now, as I said, this is a shaken cocktail. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you've got lots of ice in here so that you can dilute it to the right levels. Slap your lid on top like this. Make sure you got a good seal. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand lime wheels, like so. Put that off to the side. Grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a hurricane glass, one of my favorite shaped glasses. But you know what? Doesn't matter, use whatever you want. Use a mason jar for all, for all you care because it's your drink. And we're gonna just fill this up right to the top with ice. Perfect. Now, I'm going to strain this using my Hawthorne strainer. And I'm just gonna use my fine strainer because I wanna keep out any ice chunks. Oh, look at that. That is a fantastic looking drink. Simple, easy, perfect. Now grab a cocktail cherry and your little lime wheel that you cut earlier and a cocktail pin. So what we'll do is just grab a nice little cherry, like so. Put it directly in the center. We're going to fold this after I pull the, th the stem and slide that through like this. And now we'll just add it in like so. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Now what you're going to do is grab yourself a nice little bendy straw, slide it in there like so, and give it a sip. That is good. You get the hypnotic, it's nice and strong. The juice, the lime, the rum and the simple syrup, give it a little bit of a punch and a little bit more depth of flavor. It all works really, really well together. You know what? You can't go wrong with this. Simple and easy, just the way you like it. Now, what I will do is I will put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if you think we should change anything about this cocktail, please leave a comment down below because I really want to know. And you know what? If you're first time to my channel, also hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. And that way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support us, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic afternoon.